Hello everyone here at OS Reviews. Over the years, we've checked out a number of spy hidden cameras, but we haven't gotten the chance to take a look at one of the more popular models, which is the one disguised as an alarm clock. So today we're taking a look at it, finally. Now this version sells for $60, you can find it in the links down below. It is a little pricey, but the reason is because it comes with built-in Wi-Fi, as opposed to older models, which was basically a static camera. It can detect motion and it records automatically, stores it to an SD card, and that's it. The one with Wi-Fi Wi-Fi, you can also view back your content in real time. So you download an app for your smartphone, whether it's Android or iOS, and you're able to view back what the camera is seeing, very similar to other wireless home security cameras on the market. The size of the camera on first impression is very small. In fact, it's about half the size, I'd say, of a standard alarm clock. Uh, you can see it next to my hand, how small the box is. This is next to a standard kind of sticky note. And if I have a phone here with a six inch display, you can see how small this looks next to it. And I would say a regular alarm clock is at least two times uh, larger in terms of overall size. So it's interesting that they were able to cram so much tech into something so small, but perhaps I would have preferred a slightly larger size to make it look more conventional when you put it onto a desk. Other features, it has a 2000 milliamp hour capacity battery, which is actually pretty large considering the small size, uh, which means that you can actually start recording uh, even if the power is disconnected. So if someone unplugs this from the wall, it still continues to record video for a few hours. It also has 12 IR LEDs, which means it's able to have night vision and you can still see content in the dark, but it's gonna produce a black and white image. So that's also pretty cool that they were able to cram 12 of those LEDs uh, hidden around the sides of the camera. So everything is disguised in a very small package. We also have, very interestingly, here's the rechargeable battery. So this is actually the same type of cells that you see in most power banks. If you un disassemble them, they're basically the size stacked onto each other. And you have to insert this yourself onto the back for charging. It uses, it seems like, a standard mini USB for charging, so it doesn't use micro USB, it's the older standard. And finally, there is a mini CD as well, haven't seen one of these in years, and the top and the bottom are cut off so that it fits into the box. Taking a quick look at the design of the hidden camera alarm clock first, we can see that the front here is made out of plastic, but it's a a pretty reflective surface. We have just the LCD display here, and because it is a very reflective surface, kind of like a mirror, um, it tries to disguise everything underneath. But if you point it directly at the light, as you can see here, you can kind of figure out that this is where the camera is, and this is where the 12 LEDs are pointed and located. Um, but unless you know that this has a camera inside, you can't really tell. You probably would think that this is just a sensor for dimming the display or something like that. The chrome here is also made out of plastic, so it is very lightweight. Uh, I guess one other secondary use, because it has a battery, is you can take it on the go and in a way use it almost as a action camera, I suppose, but I'm not sure it's going to be the best application. It does have a wide angle 120 degree field of view though, so it has a slight fish eye effect similar to other action cameras on the market. Anyways, on the top we just have some controls for recording as well as setting up the time, made out of plastic. On the back we have uh, kind of a carbon fiber texture, but it's really just plastic. And we have the charging port, and in order to access the battery, you have to kind of pry open the back. And from here, we can insert the battery. So even when the switch is turned to off, the alarm clock still functions. It turns on like a regular alarm, you can still set the time. But if you turn it to on, that's when you start to turning on Wi-Fi and the uh, motion as well as video recording capabilities. And you can see a red and blue LED underneath here that gives you an indication. But on the front, there's no other LEDs. Moving into the software, I do want to quickly point out that this camera does record at full 1080p, as you can see here, which is rather impressive, and indeed you can install the driver on your computer to set it up so that you can monitor it using the software that they've installed. In fact, if you switch over to the instruction manual towards the back here, these are all a screenshots that were captured on Windows, so you can put it onto your computer if you want a larger display. So moving over to the app, it's a free app and it's called HD Minicam. It's a pretty generic program, but it works rather well. And in order to bind the camera, you tap on the plus key on the top and you have three options. The first, which is connecting to a camera that's already online and connected to your home router. The second, which is adding a camera manually that requires scanning the QR code on the back of the camera to bind it using your phone. And the third process is setting up using Wi-Fi, which is the one that I'm going to show you here just because it's the fastest in my opinion. You simply turn on uh, to Wi-Fi settings on your phone, connect to the camera's Wi-Fi, and then you enter your home's router uh, information so that the camera can then be connected to the internet. And we're done. The camera is now connected to the internet. So 
I can access it wherever I go. I can just open up the app on my phone and be able to see what the camera is seeing right away. You can actually add multiple cameras using this app if you purchase multiple sets. And down below here, I can take a look at snapshots of photos I've captured as well as videos I've recorded and alarms triggered by motion or by sound. I can digitally zoom using pan and tilt. As you can see here, the tree leaves in the background are slightly shifting around and that works pretty well. It's not optical zoom though, so you lose detail as you physically zoom in. And here's a quick sample of what the black and white IR night vision looks like. You can see everything is in black and white, but it still looks like it's daytime in terms of brightness is concerned. The IR lights are actually pretty effective, and I'll show you another demo in a se second of a shot within the, the room that we are in, but it can illuminate subjects from 12 to uh, 15 feet away without too many problems. The skies are a little bit overexposed, and the trees here are uh, slightly pale. Uh, in real life, it's definitely closer to a lime green, so it's a, a more contrasty color, but on here, it's definitely darker in terms of the shadows, so not quite as detailed as perhaps a more expensive um, home security cam. But the most important thing is that you can definitely make out most of the details without any issues. And we're back into kind of this desk setup, so you can tell that this is what the camera looks like when we are indoors. Taking a look at some snapshots that I just captured here, this one was just a few moments ago, again in the office. Office, and you can tell that uh, in relatively kind of uh, average lighting conditions, so there's no other lamps turned on in the background, uh, it still is making out these objects without too many problems and doing a decent job overall. So that's the Full HD Wi-Fi Hidden Camera Alarm Clock. Overall, I would say it actually works a little better than I was expecting. The 2000 mAh capacity battery means that it's actually able to go for a little less than a week before you need to recharge it if you're viewing it back using the app sporadically. So it doesn't need to be plugged in at all times. The size of the unit is also very compact, meaning it can also be used for traveling and other situations as opposed to just leaving in one spot. And it does look convincingly like a regular alarm clock. The video quality is also slightly better than expected, especially since it has a wide-angle 120-degree field of view. Now, as far as downsides are concerned, I would say that, uh, again, the quality of the footage, although decent enough for surveillance purposes, is not quite as accurate as uh, some larger and more expensive cameras we've seen or specific pan and tilt cameras that we've checked out recently tend to have a little bit of more accuracy and more detail uh, in the image. Furthermore, I would say the app, although it's very simple and easy to understand, also lacks some of the more advanced features that you may find, such as two-way walkie-talkie communication. So the uh, alarm clock here has a mic for picking up sound, but it doesn't have a speaker, so you aren't able to actually talk to the person on the other side. Again, no one really suspects that anything is happening at all because it does look convincingly like an actual regular alarm clock, despite the fact that it is slightly smaller than normal. So you can check out more details about this in the links down below, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the Wi-Fi Full HD Spy Hidden Alarm Clock.